Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Unknown Errors and this is my guide to uTorrent. Basic setup guide. I'm not going to go into some really, you know, detailed stuff. uTorrent is very full featured. There's a lot of things it can do. I'm just going to give you a basic overview of what it can do for you if you don't know how to use it already. So this is the screen that's going to appear in front of you when you first launch uTorrent. Uh, to me the screen is kind of useless. It does show featured content that the developers of uTorrent feel that you might want. Uh, I just don't. I normally keep mine set on torrents or download or seeding. Whichever one of these is particularly of any interest to me at the time. So let's not be concerned of this just at this moment. Let's go through you should have been given the option to run the setup guide. If not, you can get back to it as I just showed you. Uh, you're going to want to run some of these speed tests. Or, uh, the speed test. And after you run the speed test, it'll set all of these settings for you automatically based on your speed test. You want to make note of the numbers that it sets your upload to because if you set it higher than what is what the speed test shows then you're gonna see a decrease in download speed but if you set it exactly to what the upload test shows you're going to see an increase in up and download speed an increase to up download speed basically uTorrent will download faster if you're sharing I've noticed the more you share the more you upload the faster you download that's the way of uTorrent, it, or the way of torrents actually. The more you upload, the more you get back. It's it's kind of a kind of an honor system of sorts. Next thing you want to take a look at is the current port. Now, if you don't know how, uh, I'd recommend going to portforward.com and taking a look at it. You're going to need to port forward this number to your IP address. That means you're going to need to set up a static IP address for your computer, something I'll set up in a video for eventually, and you're going to need to forward this port to that static IP address that you just set up. Okay, got that? Let's move on. Next thing I'm going to do is show you the dialog that will appear when you start downloading a torrent. For this I have selected the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Tribunal, and Blood Moon. If you don't know how to find torrents, don't worry, there will be a video for that as well on my website. Now that you have uTorrent installed, the default program that it will open with is uTorrent. So, so leave that selected and hit OK. And you're going to be presented with this dialog. You want to click the little down arrow so it shows you the files size and all that good stuff. First thing you want to take a look at is the files. Make sure that the files correspond to the torrent. So if you're downloading uh, Kelly Clarkson MP3s, that the files are actually Kelly Clarkson MP3s, at least named that way. So you, you get some kind of an idea that whoever uploaded this torrent was actually uploading good content and wasn't uploading crap. Most of the time, you you don't run into crap. Uh, sometimes you do with movies, and there there's really nothing you can do about that. But for the most part, stuff is what it says it is. The other thing I wanted to point out is the directory. It's going to save this Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind in this path, and the only reason it's, the reason it's going to do that is because I have a custom path set up. Normally, it would go to uh, if you're running Windows 7, it would just go straight to download the downloads folder, which you can get to from here. I believe that's where it would go. Uh, I haven't set up to haven't had it set up to defaults in a very very long time, so I don't I'm not particularly certain. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set up custom directories, which is what I'd recommend. I'd recommend using a spare hard drive or an external hard drive go into options and preferences then directories and set up your directories that so that your torrents that are downloading go to one folder and your torrents that are complete and ready for use go to another folder 
That way that you don't try to open up stuff that's not finished downloading yet, because that's very frustrating. And one other thing I wanted to show you, which is freaking awesome. When you're using your computer, so you know, browsing Facebook or doing something on the interweb, um, you don't want to be uploading really fast, you don't want to be downloading really fast because you're going to want to be using those upload and download resources for your browsing, right? uTorrent is supposed to work in the background. It's not going to it's not supposed to choke your internet connection. So what you want to do is go into here and go to upload limit, set that to like I don't know. I keep mine set at 50 when I'm browsing. Really depends on your internet connection speed. If you've got a crappy speed, set it to something lower. And I I don't normally cut back my download speed, but if I'm downloading it at some ridiculous rate, like over 1 MB per second, I'm going to choke it back to like 100, 200. Um, and that really helps improve stability for web browsing. And then once you're done browsing, go ahead and set them back to what they should be. You know, I normally leave my upload at like 1, 150, and I leave my download unlimited most of the time. This should work out pretty well for you if you're on cable. Uh, DSL, you might want to set your upload a little bit lower. Uh, got slower upload speed on DSL. Sorry, guys. And that is about it. That uh, That is the quick start guide for uTorrent by Unknown Heirs. Check the deuce. Out.